Hello everyone, welcome back to the course. And in this video, we are going to talk about what are the classes in JavaScript and how we can use, how we can create the classes in JavaScript. So this is the basic template for creating a class. We use a class keyword and then we provide the name of our class. And that class can have multiple constructor. It can also have the variables and then it can have the methods. So this is the very simple way for creating a class. If you see here, we've got a class called user. And then this class has a constructor which is passing or requiring one parameter, which is name and saying that this dot name equal to name. So even if we don't use a variable, there is going to be a name variable, which is going to be assigned whatever the name you are getting. And then we have got a method which is saying that say hi and this is alerting this dot name. That is how basically we are going to use. We are going to create a class similarly to our Apps classes that we have used. Okay. There are various other ways for creating a class. First thing that we'll talk about is let's quickly see how we can create all these classes. So we are going to create a class. So we'll say that we are going to use a class keyword and we'll say person. This is going to be our person. And then we are going to have a constructor and as seen we are going to pass a one parameter and we'll say okay this is what we have got we we'll say that this dot name equal to whatever the name we have and then we have one method we'll say that okay say hi so here we are going to say that okay alert and what we are going to alert is we are going to say whatever the name is that this dot name if you wanted to have instead of like uh, without more confusing i'm going to use a name variable over here so that it's not confusing for all of us. Now here we'll say that let John equal to new. We'll say user. Okay, this uh, sorry new person. This is what we have created a class. And then here, as this is going to be at one parameter, so we'll say that it is going to have a one parameter which is say John. And then what we'll do is we'll say that John dot say hi. Hit enter. So you can see here it is saying that John. This is because we are just printing the name of that user. This is a very simple way for declaring or uh, creating a class and using that. There are a few other ways say suppose that we wanted to have let's say that we are going to have a class say that person and I can say that class and I can use the same way here so I can have a constructor. So what we did is we use basically say that okay person is going to be having a class and this is basically our class okay and we say that it is going to have a constructor taking two parameter name and is then we have got name we have assigned to these variables and then we say that show details and this is how it is going to alert if we hit enter we say that hello my name is amit singh and i am 23 years old so basically this is known as unnamed expression for declaring a class because we don't have any class name this is the actually our class but after the class keyword we don't have but in our uh, template, we have seen there is a class name after class keyword. So this is how you can also create a class. And that is not a big deal. If you get something like this somewhere, you don't need to worry about that. This is also a valid way to create a class. Then there is another way that we can have. So you can say here, I'll say that you can have class name and you can say my class. And into the alert, what we are going to do is everything is same we are just going to alert my class over here so this my class is going to be available inside this particular block itself this is a variable which is going to return the complete class declaration if you try to alert over here you'll get the error so let's quickly enter here we say that hello my name is amit singh i'm a 23 year old this is what your complete class declaration is because of this statement and if you click on okay you say my class is not defined and this is we are getting because of this particular element sorry this particular line and this way of declaring a class is also known as we say that named expression so that is how basically you declare a class and these are the three different ways you declare a class and then there comes another way which you can use also say that function constructor or yeah function constructor this is how you can do is you need to use a function and instead of starting a function with the small letter you can use an element uh, you can say that okay animal and you can have over here say that name and age 
So that is how you can also use a function constructor. So before we go ahead and use this, let's quickly have a look how it looks like. So this is basically uh, the structure of your function constructor is you use a function then the name of your class, whatever your class name is and the parameter basically this is going to work as a constructor. If you don't write any variables, uh, it is uh, like any parameter inside your constructor, then this is not going to take any parameter. But if you provide any parameter inside your constructor, that is going to work as a parameterized constructor. And then you say that this dot name, you don't need to worry about declaring these variables now. Just assign those whatever the value you are getting from here. So basically this is what you assign to this particular variable. And then if you have some variables that you wanted to have, not variables, the methods that you wanted to declare or assign, you have to use like the class name, then say that prototype, this is the standard one, then the name of your function that you wanted to have, and then this is basically your function that you have. So you say that function, and then whatever you are going to say that makes a noise, you can have some sort of animal because that is a animal, okay? So this is how you have the functions. Anyways, you're not going to have this into the lightning web components, but this is just to giving you a knowledge like how you can create the classes inside your JavaScript. So let's quickly see how we can use this. So that is what we have used name, right? So we'll say that this dot name equal to whatever the name we are getting and then say that we have got this dot is so whatever the is we are getting over here. As we've talked about uh, creating that, right? We talked about uh, uh, creating the method. So we'll say that prototype. And we'll say that say name and it is going to have a function so we'll say that okay it is a function and then here we are going to have say that we'll just go ahead basically alert and we'll say that this dot name and now to use this how you are going to use it basically you have to just go ahead and create say that it is going to have freddy and you say that new animal and then here you need to provide the name so what Freddy and then say that it's a two year old. So we'll just have Freddy dot say name and it is going to basically work as usual like we have seen the previously. So you see here Freddy, that alert is working fine. So this is also one way and uh, the importance of this is whenever you are coming and uh, or say that you are trying to appear in a JavaScript developer exam, this is going to be helpful for you to see how it is going to work. Now we have talked about classes, we have talked about named expression, we talked about unnamed expression, we talked about function constructor. There is something which is known as, we say that inheritance, like inheriting uh, the property of the uh, another class, which is the parent class. Say that we have got a class, we'll say that user, okay? And this class have a constructor. What constructor this has is, basically it is taking one parameter, which is saying that, okay, uh, we've got a name and we say that okay uh, whatever this dot name is whatever the name it is providing to us and uh, in order to avoid the confusion i'll create the name variable on the top over here as well now then what you can have is you can have another say that you have got let uh, sorry you have you've got new class you can say admin okay this is going to extend and it is going to extend user once you are extending the property of any class we need to call a constructor so this is going to be your constructor say so that it is also accepting one parameter which is name and once you have got a constructor which is having a name you need to call the constructor of your parent class how you will call it you need to use a super keywords you, you will use super and it is taking one parameter you will say that name okay and then you can have some parameter you say that okay say hi and you can alert over here say that okay uh, inside the alert can use a string interpolation if you want so that hi you can say here name and then what you need to do is you say that we have got let amit how you are going to use is you will say that the same way you say that new admin okay this is the class name and here i'll say that amit singh and i'll say that amit dot say hi hit enter you can say here it is saying that hi we didn't get the name here okay we okay it should be this dot name instead of uh, basically or what we say that instead of name it should be this dot name now if we hit enter we should be able to see that result see here hi i'm missing so if this particular class have some methods right say that it has some uh, sort of say that 
uh, walk or it has said that uh, is have some sort of privileges or not you can also have those methods you can also call those methods over here so suppose that you have got a method over here so that uh, what say name okay yeah? and this is saying that uh, alert and it is saying this time instead of hi we are going to say that hello and my name is we are going to use a string interpolation so we say that this dot name and you can also say here okay we say that amit dot say name hit enter you got hi amit singh and you got hello my name is amit because why well, you are able to access this method because you are able to extend the property of that user class so when we use this inheritance or when we use this extends usually you will not be working with this concept also in your javascript but you need to know what concept it is going to work because inheritance is some concept which is basically useful for any language this might be javascript java apex or some other language so what does happen uh, with the help of inheritance say that you have a parent class which is a generic class suppose that you are creating a class called person that is not actually a person that is an idea behind a person right a person can walk a person can talk a person can uh, say that run or that person can move from one place to another place so these are all the properties can have related to a person so you can have one generic class say that let person and then you can have all the methods over there say that we have got a, a person class that we have seen right uh, the name unnamed expression you can have some method say that uh, you can have a walk method even if you don't have some sort of uh, properties inside that you can have a move method or you can have talk method or then you can have a travel method or you have a speak or uh, say that you, you can have, have got a smoke these are all some sort of methods that you can have and then you can extend this class to get access to all these methods whatever the methods that have and then you can uh, even you can declare your own method with the same name so when we talk about same name so let's quickly remove this say that we have got say name you can also have say name over here so uh, we have got a say name over here and uh, this is what i'm going to have let's say that this constructor is taking one more parameter which is saying that is and then uh, we are saying that uh, whatever this dot is 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 okay and again avoid confusion create a parameter so what we did is with the same parameter we say that say name and this time we are console here so with that console dot log and uh, inside the log itself you can also use a string pole uh, interpolation you can say that my is is you can use whatever your is is you can say that uh, this dot is okay and then hit enter so you got the alert message because of this line say hi hi amit singh now this time we got my name is undefined because we didn't send any a's over here for the user but if you have noticed this method has been overridden okay so that is all known as overriding of a method which is there in the parent method and you can override into the child method so this is about uh, the extending the properties of a parent class i know a bit tricky concept but a very useful and the good thing is that you are not going to use into the lightning web component so if you have any confusion and if you want to learn you can come back to me with any doubt i can definitely clear your doubt but if you don't want to get much deep into it you can just skip this uh, there is no such uh, thing that we are going to use into the course so this is it for this video thank you for your time and into the coming video we'll talk about the promises in the javascript and these promises are going to be used widely into our lightning web component please don't skip that video and We'll see you into the next video. Thank you.